Hey, Trish, how are you doing? I'm good, Micah. How are you? I'm doing good. It's really nice seeing you again. Hey, you too. Thank you. Thank you. So, you was in Milwaukee Fashion Week. Yes, I was in um, the Odessa show. Really? Mm -hmm. So, how did it go? It went good. Great. I actually um, got an opportunity to do it. I do it last year, but then I had to because I got a new job. I ended up doing doing it this year. So I okay. All right. Was this your first fashion show? No. Oh, oh. no. Oh, you so you've been modeling no, before. Um, so you a yeah, pro, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm semi pro. Let's put it okay. that way. Because <laughs> I haven't been doing it that long, about six years. Six years. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. So walk through the experience with me. How how was it? For you. Um, for the Destiny show specifically, it was um pretty much like a typical show. We came in at like nine in the morning mm. for hair and makeup. Oh um, my god! So I ended up um getting my hair done by the what the um hairstylist that she picked. Um, and then I ended up doing my own makeup. Oh, yeah. they didn't have anybody there to do makeup. Yeah, they did. I just ended up doing my own because it was a lot of us. It was I think she had about. I want to say maybe 40 to 50 models. So, what? and then was, I think, if I'm not mistaken, only one makeup artist. So, trying to, oh, yeah. You know, trying to adjust with all of that. So, a lot of us that knew how to do our own makeup, we did our own makeup. Yeah. I know they always say, make sure you bring your own foundation yeah, with you, your own makeup, because yeah. incidents like that, you just, yeah. you just never, never know. know. Mm -hmm. You know? Um, how do you stay confident while walking on the runway? Oh, um, confidence is something that I carry with me every day, so it's not that hard. Um, it used to be, um, before I even became a model. Um, but mm -hmm. once I started modeling, like it just kicked in, like it's an automatic thing for me. Mm -hmm. Um, I do still get nerves though. Right, I right, <laughs> right, right, right. What are some of your goals in the future? Um, some of my goals in the future at this point, um, I think like my, my biggest goal now is to take everything that. I've learned and am still learning and to be able to um, help the ones coming behind me. Um, I do have a few that I mentor here and there. Hey, um, when I started, I had to research everything. Mm. Um, and I won't say that I didn't get a lot of information from people. I just got for them what I needed, but it wasn't until I got my actual coaching that I started to become a sponge and take on everything that I needed to take on to get to where I am now. And I'm still learning. So. And now, uh, one last question. What would you, um, what advice would you give somebody out there who's trying to get into modeling? Um, first of all, if um, decide if modeling is what you really want to do. Is it going to be a career or a hobby? Because it takes on a different life when it becomes a career. Right, right. Um, the second thing I would say, research before you start so you're not coming in blind because you will get a lot of information as a model, aspiring model, as they call it, coming in. And most of the time you'll fall into a lot of the traps that's out there. Yeah. So it's best warnings. to know yeah. what it is, what you're getting yourself into and what kind of model you want to be.